All right, guys, it's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment or the algorithm. This week, we have back on, oh, this guy, I can't remember his name. Oh, Gary Brecca, that's his name. Okay, let's see here. And it's, it's I guess he's on the Real Brad Lee's podcast. He's had this guy on a few times. Like, I'm just convinced that these podcast show producers are literally just booking people to say crazy shit so that they can get more eyeballs. Hey, guys, anytime you want somebody who's not full of shit, give me a call. Let's see what Gary's bullshit is on this week. I actually just got back from a six country tour in, in Europe. You know, I don't ever eat bread. Ooh. I was able to eat French baguettes and I had zero problem with digestion because there's no seed oils and there's no folic acid, right? And then, you know, you walk by a, uh, a bakery or a sandwich shop and, you know, there's sandwiches in the window one day and the next day they're half price because it's day old bread. So they made it on Monday, Tuesday it's 50% off and Tuesday night it's gone. You can take a loaf of bread out of a supermarket in America and lay the bread on the counter for 15 days and still eat it because of the processed seed oils and preservatives and the folic acid that's in there. And that's the stuff that's oils. us. Is that just all profiteering? It's all profiteering. And you know, when we first discovered preservatives, they were actually called anti-digestives. They started spraying it on <laughs> apples and things that were like, hey, it prevents the digestion of the apple. It presents what's called benzoquinone, the oxidation process. You know, some smart marketing person said, hey, we can't call this an anti-digestive. Nobody's gonna go to the anti-digestive section of the supermarket and buy fruits. So let's call it a preservative, right? The same way that we don't say sprayed with folic acid, we call it fortified or enriched. Oh my God. Okay, so something is gonna be an anti-digestive. It's going to do so through inhibiting digestive enzymes. When you eat bread, which is a carbohydrate, uh, you have amylase in your saliva, which starts pre-digestion of that starch. Then when it hits your duodenum of your small intestine, you have all kinds of pancreatic enzymes and other amylases that come in and chop up that carbohydrate down to basically constitutive saccharides. The monosaccharides like glucose, galactose, fructose, like all these different things. So for the most part, when you eat bread, it's mostly glucose. So this idea that preservatives are somehow inhibiting that process, mm, based on what data, Gary? Bread is actually one of the easier things to digest unless you have some sort of gluten, you know, sensitivity, which I am very cautious to use that term because it's not even clearly defined in the literature. Obviously, if you have celiac sprue, bread is gonna cause you significant digestive issues because you're gonna have an inflammatory response to it, but most people don't have those issues. This idea that we've gotta avoid foods with preservatives in them, if it was inhibiting the digestive process, let's just play this out logically. If it was inhibiting the digestive process, what would happen is if you have undigested material in your intestine, it draws water into that area and causes you to defecate. This is why actually soluble fiber and insoluble fiber work so well because they pull fluid into the small intestine, it increases the bulk of your stool, and you end up defecating more easily. If bread was doing this same thing, I mean, in some ways, that's actually a benefit. You're basically taking starchy bread and turning it into fiber, because if you can't digest it, you can't absorb the calories, and oh look, what Gary just said is bread doesn't have calories. Thanks, Gary. So basically, what you're saying is the bread we probably should avoid is this fresh bread because you can digest it and absorb the nutrients, but preserved bread apparently is just straight up insoluble fiber now because you can't digest it, and so now it's just gonna add bulk and you're gonna crap it out. Awesome, good to know that my bread doesn't count towards my calorie intake because I buy the fortified stuff, so now I don't have to track it and I'm gonna get shredded eating nothing but sandwiches. Thanks, Gary, appreciate the tip. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.